Okay, so I'll just come and show you the courts that we're going to be playing on tomorrow and take you on a quick tour of the club. So this is Pan Off, this is the clay courts that we'll be on tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to getting out there. I was going to have a practice hit today, but it looks as though the weather has stopped play, unfortunately. So I just wanted to talk you through how my matches went on Tuesday in my tournament in Penarth in Wales. It's my second British tour and um, it was grade one, so it was even bigger than the tournament I did in working the week before. Now, my first match was against a young 15 year old. Um, he was a very, very solid player, didn't make many errors at all, ran for everything, was a real fighter and it was a gruelling tough three hour battle. I did come through that match, which I was really, really happy with. I was so proud at the end of the match because again, it's my first win in a British tour in many, many years. Um, but I basically, I just want to break down the match for you. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any footage. I really needed to focus on this match and this tournament. Therefore, I couldn't afford to have any outside external distractions, like the, you know, focusing on the filming. It just had to be solely focused on the match. So the first set, I won 6-3. I was making some really big changes that improved my game and my performance on last week. Prior to the, the, the tournament in, in Penarth, I got some advice of my coach to be just a little bit more attacking and change up my tactics a little bit more, which would suit the, the clay court game. Okay, so it was, I was really on top in that first set and performing very, very well, playing good tennis. And um, yeah, the first set went my way. Now the second set, my opponent upped his level and um, you know, he, he was making very, very little errors and hitting so many winners. Playing unbelievable tennis, taking the ball really early. And um, I started to set off the second set off two love down, um, brought it back to two all, and then went four two down, uh, brought it back to four all, and eventually we were on serve at six all in a tie break. Um, at this point, I was really starting to feel it physically. Um, we we're probably about two and a half hours in at this point, and um, it was hot. And yeah, we had some really, really long, long uh, points, which um, you know was taking it out of me. And um, mentally as well, it was tough. So we're there in the tie break at six all. I go five three up in the tie break, and um, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, it didn't go my way. He brought it back and won it 7-5. I was putting everything into these points and um, I was disappointed not to take that second set. At this point, my opponent goes off for about five minute drink and toilet break, um, which was really beneficial for me actually, because it gave me time to regroup and just recover a little bit and focus on my thoughts and what I could control going into the match tie break. At this point, again, like I said, physically I was struggling, um, but I've got a never give up attitude. And I think it's so important that you just fight for everything on a tennis court. And it's, you know, it translates to life as well, whether it's uh, your, your dream dream job or dream lifestyle, whatever it may be. 
Um, fight for everything, never, never give up. Okay, so anyway, we go into this match tie break, we're at five all, and uh, it's super tight, but I start playing some really, really good tennis, some of, my, some of my best tennis of the match. I get the match tie break to nine five. All I have to do here is close, it, close out the match. We've got, we're on court two, so we've got quite a lot of um, supporters watching from the you know club members that have come down to watch watch the tournament. So it was quite a high pressure, high pressure moment. Um, he brings it back to 9-7, it's really tight. And I play a really good point at 9-7 to finish off the match. I was so happy, so relieved, and uh, yeah, very, very proud to be going into the second round of the qualifying. Okay, moving on to my second match. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage. Um, you know, this tournament, because it was a grade one, it was such a high level competition here in the UK. Um, I needed to focus on my matches. I couldn't have any outside distractions with a camera or people filming. I just had to really focus on my matches and, and just, you know, put everything into that. But what I did want to do is take the opportunity here and now to, to talk you through how the tournament went, what changes, you know, I made and um, the results that, that happened essentially. And um, so, yeah, moving on to the second match. I played the under 14 national champion. He's now 15 again. I played another 15 year old and he looked like a man. <laughs> I can believe his age when he told me, um, you know, he was very tall, very big, very strong, had a massive serve. I found the serve very difficult to read. He was hitting a lot of aces. Um, and yeah, we, we were on serve all the way up to five all. I was serving really well, he was serving really well. We were both holding our, ourselves, um, you know, very in a very strong way. And it looked as though it was gonna go to a tie break in that first set. Unfortunately, I played quite a bad game at five all on my serve and he did manage to break me. Um, I knew it was gonna be super tough. To, to break him back because he, he was just serving unbelievably. Um, so he, he did take the first set 7-5 unfortunately. And in the second set, the energy level was dropped by 10%. You know, I had a really long, tough first match and playing the second match on the same day is, is tough on the body for sure. Um, but yeah, you know, he, uh, he was playing great tennis, serving extremely well, put a lot of pressure on me to hold my serves. The drop in energy certainly gave him an advantage where he then went on to, to win the second set, six love. You know, I didn't get down on myself. I still tried to put everything into it. I stayed focused. But unfortunately, when at this level, if the energy levels drop just slightly, the margins are so small, often it, it makes a massive difference. Um, so yeah, unfortunately lost the, the second match, seven, five, six love, but really happy with my effort in the first set. He took it very close, you know, if I could have taken him to a tie break, possibly could have taken that first set. But um, yeah, second set, energy levels definitely dropped. And, um, you know, for him, he, he didn't drop his level at all. So, um, you know, it's fair play to, to him at the end of the day. At the end of the day, he played really well and, and deserved to win that second match. And he went through to, to the main draw. Um, but overall, really, really proud of myself and really happy with how the, the tournament went. Um, I'm looking forward to this weekend where I have another tournament um, in North Oxford on the grass. It's a grade three. Um, I'm seeded number three for that one. So um, it's, a, it's a day tournament. So you play all your matches in one day, basically. It's done on a much smaller draw, so they're able to get all the matches in in one day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in good form. Fitness is really good. And I'm looking forward to playing on the grass. It will suit my game a lot better than the clay because um, it's faster and I prefer, I hit a flatter ball. I like coming into the net and, and having shorter points. Um, and the following week, I've got another British tour in at the same club in North Oxford on the grass. So it's great preparation for me. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated on how those tournaments go. So one further thing that I wanted to talk about was the change that I made leading up to this second British tour this, this past week, which made a massive difference to my game um, and ultimately resulted in, in a better performance. Um, so after my tournament in Woking, 
last week where I got knocked out in the first round. I got some advice off my coach and he was telling me to, that I, I needed to change my tactics basically. Um, tactics for hardcore on grass court where it's a little bit faster are completely different to the tactics on clay court. Um, so essentially there are a few things that I did that were, were vital. Um, one of which was hitting with a little bit more topspin, a bit more height over the net. Um, and the second thing was just really focusing on my serve and the shot that I play after my serve. So you'd call them like a pattern of play um, and focusing on what I could do to, to make sure that the point was working in my favour as opposed to me kind of just reacting to what my opponent's doing. Um, so those two things were, were vital and, and made a massive difference to, to my match play. I just wanted to follow on real quickly from my earlier discussion. Basically, whenever, you know, things aren't quite going your way or there might be a problem always try and focus on the solution solution based thinking what can you do to change or to improve the future okay so if you've got something that you're stuck on try to brainstorm with ideas that can make a difference next time you're in a similar situation or the same situation and I'm just referring this um, to obviously my tournament I'm working last week, which didn't go so well, and um, the changes that I had to make this week in Panama that made a big difference to my performance. So, yeah, it's a solution based